Hey, what is going on, Cancers? Butch Tarot here. I am going to do your one week read. It is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. It is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. Uh, for all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. Um, with all that being said, let's get it. Eris, what message do we have? For cancers. What's coming in for cancers? What can we see for cancers? All right, Cancers. I'm there now. It's the first thing I, I, I see, Cancers, I feel like this, there's this connection. Uh, this strong connection with someone. Uh, for some of you, this is someone you just met, or for others, this is someone coming in, but this is a, definitely a new energy. Now, I feel like with this person, the first thing I see is I feel like this person they got their shit together. You know, I, I feel like things are going right for this person. And I and I feel like the only thing that they're kind of missing in life is, is that partnership. That person, you know, that better half or the other half. Um, you know, I feel like this person has everything that they want except for they don't have that partner. They don't have that person to share life with. You know, and that's what they're looking for. I mean, I and I feel like they're seriously looking for that. You know, they're committed to it. You know, they're emotionally ready and emotionally available. You know, that, that King of Cups, like what I, when I see that, it's like that emotional maturity. It's like someone that knows what they want and they're not willing to settle for anything less because they've been there and they've done that. Now with this person, I mean, <clears throat> I see a lot of communication with this person. You know, and, and I feel like... I mean, the only thing I see here that may cause you some pause is I feel like this person is very slow and steady. But, I mean, it, when it comes to cancers, I feel like cancers like that as well. You know, I mean, I, I feel like it's more important to establish something than to rush into something. You know, I feel like this person very open in, you know, communication. It's like they're establishing trust. This person isn't jumping in with both feet. This person is taking their time, getting to know you, enjoying the small things, the little things. You know, because I feel like that's, that's how we build a true foundation. You know, we take our time. I mean, we have the Three of Pentacles. And when I look at the Three of Pentacles, you know, I see this person. You know, it's it, a lot of people see it a different way, but I see it as like an architect building something. You know, and that architect needs the builders. You know, it, it's a partnership. You know, he can draw the plans, but he needs someone to build it to make it come to fruition. And I feel like with this person, this is exactly what they're looking for. They're looking for a partnership. They're looking for someone that they can share things with. They can share their life with. They can love and be loved by. But they take their time, like in building a house. You know, I used to, one of my early jobs in life is, you know, building houses. And I worked for two different companies. 
one, I didn't last very long because they were really bad. You know, they just, they rushed things. They didn't take their time. The second one was almost painfully slow, but they did everything right. You know, they measured twice, cut once, like they just built something. And that's what you want. You want someone that takes their time. You know, they appreciate the little things. They pay attention to the small details. That's how you get that strong foundation. And that's exactly what this person is looking for. They're looking to build that strong foundation. Something they continuous, can, can continuously build on. You know, so I feel like in the beginning, this feels like a friendship with some undertone, you know, connection. But I feel like as we move forward, it develops into something much bigger. Like I said, they're just taking their time. They're not, they don't want to make mistakes. You know, they don't want to have regrets. So it's a slow and steady energy, but it's always moving forward. You know, like I said, they want to build something strong. And this is the way to do it. So I feel like the only, like I said, the only thing I can see that would even remotely be considered a, you know, not ideal is I feel like it is going to be slow. But I feel like cancers, from the cancers I know, I mean, they, they'd rather take it slow, get to know each other, understand each other before they rush into anything. That's not all cancers, depending on your charts, but the ones I know, uh, they appreciate that. They'd appreciate that more. Um, building something strong. You know, they want a partnership that lasts. They're not looking for the next ex-partner. They're not looking for a one-night stand. They're not looking for a fling. They're looking for that forever person. And I feel like they're always going to be honest in that, with that Queen of Swords. Always very direct and honest with that. Now, with you, I feel like they see someone they, you know, they give their time to. And like I said, this person has a shit together. So when it comes to time, for people that know what they want and know what they're looking for, time is a precious commodity. You know, it's not like money. It's not like anything else. You can't get more time. You can't get a rebate. You can't get a refund. So people that are serious spend their time very wisely. And as we move forward, this person spends more and more time with you. You know, this is someone that's going to notice, like I said, the little things and they're going to appreciate the little things and they'll let you know about that. But don't get it twisted. Because I do, I mean, I do feel like this person's seeing you in a way that maybe in the beginning they're not going to show you. I, I feel like there is some physical energy. But I, there's also some fantasizing about the future with you. So don't don't feel like this, because this person isn't rushing things, that they don't want to rush things. I feel like there's a part of them that does want to. But there's a mature part of them that knows to take their time. You know, we have new love here. This is not something they're taking lightly, nor will they. Like I said, building that foundation, this person is nurturing this connection because they see, they see something in it and something important, something they were looking for. So this person is going to nurture this. They're gonna put in the work. They're gonna show up for you. You know, like I said, it's a very honest and genuine energy with this person. You know, this is something I don't feel like this person's walking away from. And like I said, when you're not around, this person's thinking about you. And I feel like you're going to think about them. And a part of you is already going to know where this is headed. You know, I feel like your intuition is telling you there's something very special happening. But just because it's not happening fast, sometimes it takes time. Like I said, when like when building a house, you take your time and you get something strong, stable, and that lasts forever. You know, and that's what I see here. I see someone that that's exactly what they're looking for. You know, they're not looking for a quick fix. They're not looking for to throw something together. I mean, this person is taking their time. They're enjoying it. 
they're enjoying you because they have every intention of moving forward with this. You know, and with this person, you get, you get honesty, you know, you get loyalty, and it's someone that you can rely on. You know, it's very old school. And I like that. Like, I dig the shit out of that. I mean, that old school energy, you know, that very chivalrous energy, someone that, that's not just trying to rush and get things, you know, you know, they're, they're not trying to rush and get, I don't know how to say this in a, in a very respectful way. They're not just trying to rush to get in your pants. You know, that's not what this person's about. And it's not that they don't think about it. I mean, I, they're human. They have impulses. They just don't act on them. You know, with that nine of cups, they want to fill their cups up. They want to fill your cups up. You know, it starts off in a friendship, but very quickly moving into something else. Um, very quickly becoming evident that it's moving to something else. Like I said, I mean, this is someone that's offering you love, loyalty, respect. I mean, not only do they care about you, they respect you. And that's a huge thing. You know, this person sees you as someone that they have that family with. They can start that family with and they're going to build it. And like I said, I mean, a lot of people rush things sometimes. And, you know, sometimes people get fortunate and when they rush it, it works out. But this person is not one of those persons that takes huge risks like that. You know, they, they see what they want in front of them and they're going to go after it. But it's not something that they're going to rush. They're not going to risk that. I mean, I like that. You know, I, I, I feel like a lot of people think, you know, they always say that chivalry is dead and all this other things. But anyway, um, we got Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Um, we have some fire as well. We have some Sagittarius energy. Some Leo. Um, you know, we have some Taurus. Aquarius. Some Virgo as well. Um... You know, I, to all the people out there, I mean, to all my fellow men, you know, and to the women, we need to expect more from each other. You know, I feel like chivalry isn't dead. It's just been kind of dormant. You know, with me, I have this very specific way I was brought up. Um, you know, my, my grandfather taught me very well of how to be a gentleman. You know, I've never been overly, um, I mean, I'm, I'm a sun and moon Sagittarius and a Leo rising. I've got all kinds of fire in me, but I've learned to harness it. You know, my, my grandfather, I learned from watching him and how he was, and even my dad. You know, I've had very good role models when it comes to expressing, you know, those gentleman qualities that I feel like a lot of people have lost. Like, um, you know, I've always, I always remember, we were, I was walking with my grandmother and grandfather one time and, you know, we're, I'm from a very small town, but we were walking along the road and my grandfather was always on the outside closest to the road. And I remember one time I asked him, I said, why? Why is it like he always shifts? Like if they change, if they cross the road, he goes, he switches with her and goes to the road again. I'm like, why do you always do that? He's like, because that's your job is to protect. You know, if you're going to, if somebody's going to get hit by a car, it's going to be me first. Same as when my grandfather took my grandmother out, they used to go on dates. They always made it a plan to have a date at least once a month. And now taking a, 
account, my grandfather and grandmother had 18 kids. And I shit you not, they had 18 kids. Blows my mind. Um, but anyway, they always made time for each other. And that was very important. Um, but anyway, when my grandfather and grandmother went to go get in their car, my grandfather would always open the door for her. And she would get in and he'd shut the door and he'd go around and get in. And I always asked them, like, every time I seen weird things with them, like, seeing things I never really saw, I asked them. I was like, why do you do that? He said, because you, you always make sure your, your wife or girlfriend and your kids are in the car safely before you get in. You're not opening the door just to, you know, be a nice guy. You're doing it because you're supposed to be the last one in. Make sure everybody's in safely. It was just these things. And when I got with my, my partner, Rose, um, we've been together 15 years. We're actually engaged right now. We're hoping to be married in October. That's something new I haven't announced yet. So there you go. Um, <laughs> she always kind of giggles when I do it, but she enjoys it. You know, and it's the little things. And I'm pulling a seat out. You know, it's not... I mean, I, I, I've i gone out to dinner with some friends and my buddy kind of laughed at me one time. He's like, why do you, you know, you, she got you whipped. She doesn't have me whipped. I'm in love. You know, and that's a different thing. You know, it's about respect. Respecting your partner. You know, and it's, uh, it's one of those things where it's the little things. It's about taking time for each other. You know, a lot of, I think a lot of relationships I've seen that have unfortunately fell apart. A lot of them, I feel like they just didn't like from what I saw and what I've heard from them is I, I feel like a lot of them didn't take time for each other. You know, in the beginning you get with someone and you have all this time you're dating, you're taking each other out, you're doing cute little things. But you don't, you know, later on you start having kids or start having more responsibilities and you stop forgetting that stuff. But it's the little things. Like I'm, I make sure at least a couple times a month I bring home flowers. Not only because she loves them. She puts them in a, in a vase and they look nice. I like the look of them. But it's just a little reminder that I was thinking about you today. Now, another thing that the last couple of years, I, we have a six year old little girl. Um, as m most people know, we have three kids together, but our littlest one is six. And I always try to instill that into her so that when she gets older, she'll find a guy that, that does that. And I instill that in my sons. You know, so now when I buy Rose flowers, I buy her flowers. And she loves it. Big smile on her face when she gets them. She feels special. And, and you should. You know, you should have someone that makes you feel special. Because sometimes just you thinking about someone in the, in the day, just shooting them a text saying, you know, whatever. I miss you. Looking forward to see you. That shit doesn't go unnoticed. And if you're thinking it, you should say it. And I had a hard time with that for a long time. Um, you know, just toxic masculinity, feeling like that's not like a manly thing to do. But I feel like it's the most manly thing I've ever done. You know? You want to be treated like a king, you got... Eight. Kings have queens. You know? I don't expect anything without giving. You know, we're we're all the we all have the right to be kings and queens of our own castle. And if we don't feel that way, we feel neglected. You know, and like I said, some people will just go with it and it won't be, ever be an issue, but you know, why why chance it? You know, if you care with someone, make sure they always know. You know, just to send a three-word text, I love you. It's not going to take up any time of your day.
but what it means to that person is a lot. You know, it's the little, little things. And I truly believe that, and I've always believed that, like I said, watch my grandfather and the things that, you know, just the little things that my grandfather does. My grandmother loved the shit out of my grandfather. Loved them. They had some rocky times, but at the end of the day, I remember them dancing in the kitchen. I remember them just being in love, and it was such a great experience for someone to see that. You know, unfortunately, my parents, they got divorced when I was three months old, and I never really seen a whole lot of love between them. But fortunately, I got to see it from my grandparents, and it just, you know, I always took the idea that she loved him that much, and the little things he did played a big role in that. You know, don't be afraid to love your person with everything you have. Be afraid to lo not love them with everything you have. And I feel like if you truly love your partner with everything you have, at the end of the day, whether it works or it doesn't, you can never say you didn't try. Because nothing sucks worse than something falling apart because you, and you thinking about it later on and saying, I, I should have done this, I should have done that. Anyway, my speech is over. <laughs> I'm not going to carry away my stories. Anyway, be good. Take care. Stay safe.